you know, it's a really strange thing, right? When you hear people talk about Bernie Sanders and uh, his policies, the things he advocates for, and um, especially on a lot of the uh, mainstream news outlets, right? They try to paint him as some sort of extremist or radical lefty. It's to me, it's mostly corporate nonsense and propaganda. Because if you really think about it, if you compare his policies to what every other modern major country is doing, you realize he's actually in the center, the actual center. And in many of these European countries, he can be considered, Bernie Sanders could be even considered a little bit right of center. He's, he's really, <laughs> I mean, the things he's talking about is universal health care or intuitionless college, you know. Just things like that that are very user centrist. Of course, he wants to do other things as well, support along the lines of, um, you know, the environment, making sure that um, the super rich pay their part into taxes. You know, I mean, it's really centrist, no toast as far as the globe's concerned. You know, it's really is. I don't know. <laughs> It's just so ridiculous to hear people on fucking news media, especially on Fox News. Even though, I will say this, the Fox News town hall that Bernie Sanders was at, they actually treated him better than the CNN town hall did. Because, God, I mean, the CNN town hall had so many fucking plants. I mean, the CNN town hall had more plants than the Amazon rainforest. I mean, it seemed like all the questions that he was being asked were, Hey, Bernie, why do you want to turn the United States of America into a, to a Soviet gulag or some shit like that? Like, the fuck out of here. Like, I'm just a normal American person. No, you're not. You're hooked in with a fucking political group. And you just, this one girl had a fucking uh, book recently autographed by Mitch McConnell. Oh, yeah, she's totally just an average American person who, who identifies you know, with a far-right extremist such as McConnell. He's an extremist. So people have been led to believe that Bernie's an extreme lefty when, in fact, this country has moved so far to the fucking right, at least economically. It's moved so far to the fucking right and to where you got these people who are actually on the far, far right, the Republicans, in the uh, Senate, the House, White House, and, you know, the government in general. Those are the ones that are the fucking extremists. They're the ones who want... To stick with shit that's broken, that's more expensive and less effective because it makes their rich donors more money. And quite frankly, a lot of the corporate Democrats are, are really the same way in many ways, especially Pelosi and Schumer. You know, it's, it's a real joke when people try to consider Nancy Pelosi a real fucking progressive. And yeah, that's just, yeah, then why does she institute pay go? Oh, because she's a major master legislator and she's doing like 18 dimensional chairs and, you know, what? That's that's the rationale he, he came up with, and you believe that story? <laughs> oh yeah. Just I thought I'd make a little short little video to do my part to get the message out that Bernie's not really radical. You know, it's just <laughs> uh, it makes me laugh every time. I guess hearing some shit like that. The problem is we just got to get the country to go actually, go actually go back to the real center, not the, because you got two kinds of centers, right? You got the, the apparent center, which looks like the center, but it's not Then the actual center or this whole, this whole country is actually a good deal to the right of the actual center. So in time, you know, Bernie Sanders, the justice Democrats, like Ocasio-Cortez, Rokana, Rashida Tlaib, Ilhan Omar are going to gain ranks as each election cycle goes on, you know, 2020, 2022, 2024. And that's going to help to bring the country back to the actual center and to put a balance in place that is going to really help out average, average Americans is what we need. That's what Bernie wants to do. I mean, I mean, if you sit down and really think about it, like what's so radical and shocking about, Fucking making sure kids and people have health care and then education. I mean, does that sound really fucking terrible to you? 
Oh no, no, it shouldn't. But the people on the right wing talk shows, talk show, talk show circuits, the right wing AM talkers, they want to make it sound like it's it's going to be some, uh, some horrific so uh, Soviet plot, sending everyone to gulags and shit. And it's not. It's because they're being paid to say that shit by certain corporate interests. I mean, a lot of these AM talkers would have been off the air long ago. If it wasn't for the fact that they're constantly being funded by these fucking far right, super rich groups who get their money from like the Koch brothers, the Mercers, they'd be they'd, they'd be off the air by now. I mean, hell, Air, air America Radio was a left wing version of that, and they tried staying on, but a lot of the stations, to to what I remember, is they just didn't want to have them on. You know, you know they got kind of you know black blackballed a bit that way, so. You know, they were shut out by a hyper-capitalist press who only wants to let out certain narratives to benefit, you know, certain kind of people because those certain kinds of people are going to pay the radio stations to do what they want to do. So uh, that's just got that's got a lot of stuff to do with the narrative framing in the country that we just shifted so far to the fucking right. Because of it, they don't want to hear anything about Bernie Sanders, Medicare for all, unless someone's maligning it. You know, they don't want to hear anything about, you know, worker co-ops. You know, they don't want to hear anything about that that might put power into the hands of the public, into the hands of average workers. And so they're they're pretty, pretty adamant about keeping that message under wraps. Or at least if it comes out, they have the paid stooges and the um, the talking heads on the CNN Fox News and the MSNBC to sort of just rail the fuck out of these ideas. And slowly people come around to it that it's a lot of bullshit coming from the uh, hyper-capitalist press narrative group. But, um, yeah, when it comes down to it, Bernie's actually considered, around the globe, a centrist and even a little bit right of center. So if someone tries to come at you with that shit, oh, he's just a radical lefty. Actually, he's not. I mean, compared to say Mitch McConnell, he is, <laughs> but um, every other modern major country, he's pretty fucking centrist. So, if anyone ever says that to you, you know, at least hopefully you'll have a little bit more to uh, to push back on that.